Live from Utah's CW30, ABC4 News at 7.30 starts now. Welcome back. The cost of food, gas, and borrowing money is up. And now stocks are falling and some people are worrying if or when they will be able to retire. Some people are also worrying if or when, like I just mentioned, they'll be able to retire. ABC4's Kayla Baggerly has more. I spoke with some local experts that said although this can look scary, it's important to not panic. Here's some tips they gave for if you're planning on retiring soon. Um, we have talked about maybe having my husband work longer um, and they, they have perks if you work, I don't know, it's something like 70. I mean, I'm scared. I mean, it's so high. It is hard to be on a pension in the and uh, buying the food. It wasn't always this way. Paul Burton says he retired three years ago, and it's concerning to see prices rise. It was a lot cheaper. Now it's high. And now Wall Street is showing heavy losses as stocks have fallen into a bear market. When a market, usually measured by some index like the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the S&P 500, or the NASDAQ, um, have declined by 20% or more from their prior peak. This has many people worried for their retirement, who are dependent on 401k and other stock-heavy retirement accounts. But although it sounds concerning, local experts say there is hope. We'll likely see this turn around in the next 12 to 18 months. So now is it the time to be pulling money out? You'd be locking in the 20-25% loss on your current investment portfolio. And that's tough because you never know when this is all going to turn around and go back up. Markets are cyclical. They always turn around. Uh, and the best advice we can give is hold on for the long ride. You're going to get through this and we're going to come out the other side. And when it comes to concerns with inflation. The best advice that you can give is budget tighter. You're going to have to look at those things and look at your spending on a day-to-day -day and a monthly basis and say, what are those things I can do without right now? What are those things that have spiked up the most in cost? Are those things that I can cut out of my budget or at least reduce a little bit? And for any concerns you may have or for more one-on-one -on -one help, experts recommend meeting with a financial advisor. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Kayla Baggerly, ABC4 News.